Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane, Master Propaganda Hero of Psych, Defender of the Fatherland. Off here to the signing one versus one on. I think it's Lesaurus Woods Forest. I can't actually quite remember the name. Anyways, a forest map here. <laughs> two versus two, December balance preview, by the way. Though I'm sure that someone will be asking in the comments, is this from the December balance preview? Yes, I said it. That means it's from it. Anyway, see in the South, we got Vindeed Frost fighting for the Soviet Union. Socialism! The fifth mechanized core. Charles cleaning out the fascists as they charge forwards and the commander of Fortune and Cryptic fighting both for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland, the Gors Deutschland Panzer Division. Deutschland, we're looking here at advanced warfare, shock rifles, third industry, armored assault, and terror tactics. Both players going for conscript heavy builds here, by the way. Versus Cryptic with gun the MD42s and Fortune the same as well, I imagine, with mobile defense, lightning war, fortified armor, mechanized and elite troops doctrine. A lot of mine, infantry, machine gun, anti tank gun, mortar, you name it, bulletins. More bulletins for a lot of things there, except for. In oh, well, that's actually one for infantry, never mind. Pioneers and we got engineers rushing force down to Fendit's command, occupying strategically vital housing to deny it to the fascists, making harder for fortune to advance. In the east side, we got sort of more or less the same here. Engineers rushing in right under the nose there, denying housing once more at critical points, forcing cryptic back as well here. And Contra is about to flank here, the MD42, gonna be too far away here. The Germans going for a more scattered approach here, hoping to see as much theater as possible, is currently being punished as the Russians prove they can be even more aggressive, which is rather their thing, you know, compared to the Wehrmacht. The Wehrmacht sort of more the slower coordinate faction, the Russians sort of more aggressive, swift in faction. So right now, the Germans have rather laid themselves open here to conscript here, but obviously, having if you play for a meta that is very dependent on a lot of penal troopers, suddenly playing against conscripts is going to be a huge sort of system shock. And so, extent, I think that's basically what's going on with the Fortune encrypted. You're just so used to playing against penal troopers, they're never anticipating an aggressive conscript build from both Frost and Findeed. So, things get mentioned. The conscript there is certainly proving lethal there, with all their new buffs. And it is doing what they can here for Deutschland, up close and ugly. But the Infords there almost swapped out by the conscripts. Gonna is barely saving the day here. Up north, Pioneers versus conscript up close here. There you go, rushing to the house. Ludwig got Sergei, gunned him down in cold blood. But the Russians managed to get into the house. They're denying it to the Germans as well. More pressure, MG42 falling back. Gonna is moving up the west side. Conscripts thinking about house once more occupied here by the Russians. Making it difficult there for the Germans again to advance because they have no way of easily clearing out a structure. And there's here Fortune goes for League Troops. Got the near squad, in which case you can pop a concussive grenade, and maybe hope to do work there. Cryptic with a sniper, has got Contra pushing up it. Caught by the MD42 here, finally occupying the house. In the side, though, more troops from Frost pouring in, and Cryptic's uh, beleaguered pioneers are slowly being overwhelmed. Quite an intense match, as I'm sure you can tell you. Three minutes in, and, you know, just shooting everywhere. This is not gonna go down quietly. Mortar following up there for Cryptic and the German army. There's some light actually there. There's all the conscripts that can work out to an extent. We do see the fact that uh, Findeed has gone for support from company. There's cross Frost as well. Though he's gone for a few more conscripts. Both aiming for some support weapons there. In which case the mortar is certainly going to be helpful there for the Germans. For Fortune there we got three Gunnadines. MD42 Cryptic with only one Gunnadine. One MD42. One sniper and a mortar. Much more extensive build. Much more very. But at the same time lacking in front line troops to really challenge the... Uh, Moscovites. Uh, being is being gunned down by the MD42 from inside the house here. Fifth mechanized corps continue to fight as the core starts and advances here through the western woods. Conscript shouting forts here. Occupying tactically vital ground here with the heavy cover maximum moving up as well. Sniper that will be able to provide a bit of support here for the Germans there. And more up here. Ingenies being flung there for MD42. Trying to suppress. He needs more support. Troops some support. And the MD42 will be forced to fall back here. Mortar repositioning as well. Up far north here, we got Frost that are penetrating, getting past there's There's absolutely nothing from Krypton there, could actually sneak behind, hit the mortar and other supporting elements. Though that's not even needed because right here there is no front line from Cryptic. The overall lack of infantry means once the M42 is gone, he's easily pushed back. Fortune is faring better for now, though that of course is partly due to Cryptic sniper aiding him with a few well placed shots between a few less than well placed Russian eyebrows. Right now, the entire northern half of the map there, more or less, is falling into the hands of socialism. Whereas the south of West and how to sort of mingle it. And probably what to consider this north, they're probably more just considering this north. Oh, in the south there, with the fuel point there, 
Rising securing uh, the Germans are making some progress, but the unfortunately there's nothing perfect. Contra rushing ahead here, Mortar flying down, and he's going to try and get the snap, and he gets right there. Cryptic in this case, I think, overall punish for not going for sufficient infantry. Both players going for like to make a nice company at the same time. Down here, Kennedy is holding up the rations as much as they can, but they're certainly finding themselves overstretched here by the sheer weight of the new and improved conscripts, who are proving to be a rather nasty customer. So again, without sufficient firepower to keep their heads down, you can find yourself quickly overrun. That's basically what's happening here. Back taking for a bunker and for other things there. Sandbag being dug on the car point besides the house there. Frost really digging in there. Fun fact, the rations were actually noted for being able to be laid down defences very, very rapidly, according to the Germans, like they could build up a sort of reasonably erected defence very swiftly. It's much to the surprise of the Germans every single time. Like they just begin digging right under the German noses if they could get away with it, bringing up anti-tank guns on the mics. And so far, Frost seems to be living up to that. 2-2 two to two following up there for Fortune. Uh, like to make a nice company here, some Panzer going to do would be a good choice, I think, for Crypt. He's going for the half -tick. that's probably going to flame for a half -tick. going to try and burn out those Bolsheviks down here, though. We got a second maximum out for Findeed, and for Frost, we got nothing further here. Both players got plenty of fuel compared to the Germans. They've been able to control the fuel points and most of the map there quite aggressively. And there you go, 2-2 two two out for Fortune. Almost done there, 2 going to go back for healing reinforcement. I mean, one thing they could have done is just try and maybe build a medic bunk around here. Then again, the distance might be too far. And that way, they could just, you know, have one player have to build it. And they could sort of reasonably both make use of it. As a smaller site, man. Northern point being secured here. Flint half tech out. That's likely going to be in flame for half tech for cryptic, except he doesn't have munitions for due to the munitions. Cash. Two to two moving head. Going to rush straight into the maximums. We're laying down a murderous hellfire against the Gandhi's behind the heavy cover. And we go to do strikes with auto cannon and correction machine gun. Pioneers being pushed back. Go Mac turning back. The 2 2 taking heavy damage from all the machine gun fire. And actually has to fall back already. Not good there overall. The Germans might consider just switching over. They both players focuses towards the north, securing the area here, and then maybe trying to swing around instead of trying to fight this head on more scattered grounds because the Russians is just digging in its heart's camp. Particular frost just keeps moving down mines and what not making it much more difficult for you know uh, the germs to push through there again particularly cryptic who is still uh, short on infantry in particular also just short on infantry and pressures upon after having lost the sniper so right now the rations start leading quite far ahead here if indeed has gone for shot rifle already could indicate some early shock to certainly put more pressure on the germans after running ahead is supporting his troops as much as possible here up north going to discontinue the fact that the conscript flight machine guns can't take case versus most of their guns in the south further territory just becoming well indeed constantly dying out over here troops in and enforcing and we got a mortar on the way there for fortune as well so both players are opting for some light artillery to try and blast out their opponents no panzer going to do no assault infantry which would otherwise be i think a solid counter to all these conscripts So that one is interesting to note. Going to be being overwhelmed, they retreat immediately. Schnell, in fact, it might not be too late for Cryptic Damper to against buff conscripts with a slightly better chance of wiping units on retreat. A little bit of luck. Molotov's out here for someone, though, a bit high up time. It's not Findeed, then it's Frost. Both players also taking out for light arm and vehicles. Got the M26 on the way there for Findeed already. 2 2 rolling about here, getting pelted with an anti tank grenade. Going for the center victory point, their victory point wise, they're already down to 338 versus 500. Half to enforcing mortars continue to blast down. Now we got mortars up for both sort players, well, so that make it harder there for the Germans to make any use of their mortars. Whew. They just aren't letting up the intensity. We got a termine down there from Fortune at some point. Very nice there. Might prove helpful at some point, but for now, uh, not too much. Maximus MD42, Mortar setting up again, Veterans who won 4 kills, no Panzer gonna dealer, not a lot of infantry upgrades, and now the player going for a doctor, at least up allow them to upgrade some G4 defeats, which adds some more impact versus the conscripts now, and I really think you just need to try and, you know, push the tempo as much as possibly uh, versus the rations right now, because right now they got both fuel points, being the rations can just quickly pull ahead for tanks, so the faster the Germans can just somehow push back, before they get overwhelmed, the better, but so far, 
it seems like they're not quite uh, keen on going there yet. There you go, Flampanzabag not here though for Cryptic. Burning for the rations. Getting quite a few of them. Got it there, two moving about. There you go, quite far on the Asian 6. Got a mortar crew there, but the 2 2 is not going to survive. Going to be suppressed. Asian 6 needs to move in there. Mortar flank is ring down. We got a second mortar out there for He's going to really just try and blast his way for artillery here. Proof indeed. You can steal the mortar, of course. You get a third mortar out. Mortar there. A mortar on the MD42 force now. Flam Panzer Wagon there moving about. Heavily damaged. More troops moving in. Looking pretty rough. You can see the frost is taking advantage of indeed slight vehicle pressure to just push ahead for mechanized armor company and rush out a T-34 from 6 as fast as possible. So, so far, the Germans are making some slight progress both north and south, but overall, it's not huge progress, and more importantly, it's not progress that's actually getting them any of the fuel. And Frosty is gone for terror tactics, meaning both players now have shock trooper oriented docks. We've got fear propaganda still going down somewhere. Whew. I have no idea what's going off. I have no idea what's going on. Off. Troops are enforcing healing. Pack 40 out there for Cryptic for Fortune. We got nothing yet. Maximus is going to do them back successfully to got Panzer going to do out fine here for Fortune. We're getting hold here by some conscripts inside the house. Still, that is something a bit more suited, I think, for the really trying to push back against the conscripts up for some more offensive action, though. Still, I think G43 oriented doctrines would give them something to work with in both cases. Make the gun is certainly more formidable at a more uh, cost affordable level there with only 45 munitions. We'll see what goes up. Maximum being pushed back here by the MB42. Opening up the southern fuel point here for the Germans once more. And there you go, Panzer Moon trying to maybe get a few kills on the Maximum crew. Bombardment's going down there. Fortune seems to be breaking for indeed uh, defenses here in the south. Whereas the North Cryptic is still struggling overall, suffering. Well, he's slightly. You know, depleted or fixed up some of his infantry losses, but uh, or like infantry lackings, but he's still not making much progress there. There's a frost T 34 from six there for frost and the fifth mechanized core opening up for the first tank here on the battlefield. The Germans are certainly quite some time off them. They can fact now with the newly changed fuel costs only now begin taking for the support on a core. This is taking hit from the pack 40 country moving hit to enter tank. This is going to be pelted on the. 2-2-2, two, two, two. going to these pioneers, moving ahead in mind, spot it. Aggressive mining there, going the northern part of the T-54-6, almost done. 2-2, two, two, two. close to being destroyed here. It did its best, but ultimately it wasn't quite enough. The 2-2-2 two, two, two is kaput, like the Panzer Spielwagen is kaput. Leutnant Otto is taught. And there you go, southern fuel pumps killed once with the final. Shock to be charging into the Panzer Gundies, who are without sufficient support, and they are already low on health. Fortunately, in this case, making the right decision, decision, just retreating right away, not trying to fight that one. That's only just a complete wipe of the Panzer gun to use. Pat Ford really trying to get the Infantry 6, also threatening, I suppose, in some way, the mortar. And before we're coming up, we still got the German mortar, so he's just blasting everything they can. And before needs to fall back, before it gets wiped by some random, random lucky shot. And he needs to fall back, so we got the T 34 out there for. Frost, the T-34 from 6, Flamethrower after needs to fall back as well. The Germans could now maybe consider taking up. At least one of them should consider taking up. And push out some stoops here. I think sort of uh, push back against some of this incoming Soviet armor. But Cryptic so far is going for double pack 40s. Frost, or Fortune is yet to go for In fact, he's flooding manpower though. He didn't go for fuel cash yet at this stage. T-34 the rolling in, pursuing the gun. He's wiping him with a machine gun shot or two from the uh, bow. And there goes Shockman and catching Gundy's heart in the opening neck to cover as well. That is pretty bad there. Fendi just launching it at Rogue. And there go T-34 there catching the flame for half tech. And the Pat 40 gets white Panzer passed off. But the Shockman, of course, just mows straight through the Gundy's. Can you try and steal the Pat 40 there? This is looking pretty catastrophic. And now the Mortar Crew is next. A decisive blow there to the center of gravity of the German forces here. Decapitating. At least gutting a lot of, you know, German vital support units. And there you go, using smoke grenade, forcing the Panzer within range, and even trying to steal the Pack 40 out. I think that was a misclick, though, by uh, Findeet there. I don't think he intended to try and steal the Pack 40 there. He was trying to bait the 
Panzer Grenadiers within the effective range of the shock troopers and accidentally click there. I think that sort of makes more sense. M4 troopers are maximum here. Constantly moving in. M4 troopers have been getting overwhelmed here unless it gets some. Yeah, that's going to get overwhelmed. Need to retreat. Northern fuel point all secured briefly by the German army. Finally got a doctrine there from Crypting and it is fortified armor. He might probably try and go for the command panzer there. In which case, Fortune's going to have to tag out fast and begin pushing out Stugs. Because either of them needs to push out for support, of course, as soon as they can just get some medium armor out that can pressure the rations a bit, support the infantry a bit better. Now the play, oh, oh, of course, also means it's not going for defense. the future. I mean, the unfortunate benefit a lot from elite troops, at least that way, being the sort of more aggressive infantry player. But, ah. Uh, almost lost his pants because he might still lose them. Ah, oh, saved there by a few good mortars instead. The double mortars are proving helpful there for fortune. Proving helpful. Laying down a consistent and murderous mortar barrage there versus the rations. But there you go. Mortar again spot here. Constant flanking in. Pack 40 crewed here by Fortune. Cryptic source is still depleted. He, I think, is trying to save up here for the command tank. And up north here, we've got M4 grenades versus the conscript. Then grenades off. In turn, the armor piece would add more. But he just does not have the missions. He's also called in air reconnaissance to get an idea of the rations. Frost somewhere calling in fear propaganda till we again. Fortune beginning to float towards a thousand manpower, which considering the situation, I don't think is a very good idea. You really should be trying to expand that manpower in some helpful manner here versus the rations. You know, either more pads can this tech, you know, go elite troops, storm troopers, build some caches, yes, you know, push something out there. Encrypted here, gonna go for that command tank, I'm reasonably short, there we go. The fears punch a bargain. It's not gonna help us a lot versus the T 54, but it's gonna give him something a bit more to resist the rations over with as it decreases the damage taken by all of his forces nearby it. So it might just get a bit more sort of resilience on the battlefield. Light machine can buy security by Conscript Squad. Bad news for Fortune and Cryptic. Mortier continues to blast away, hoping to silence some rations. Fortune still not taking. Cryptic command tank rolling northwards. As for Thindeed, he could be taking up himself, but I'm guessing at this point he's basically leaving the medium armor to Frost for now while he's then aiming for the IS-2. And so far, continuing the lead, I could see it working, in particular if the Germans so far continue to refuse to take up themselves to go for some Stugs. I mean, they really just need to go Stugs, no uh, butts or anything. Well, there we go, Frost not just going for T-34s, but also going for KV-8 flamethrower tank. He's really a set Berlin aflame, but he's going to have a general rehearsal on the German troops before him. Pure propaganda to again, preventing support and symptoms from working. Very good usage of the ability to rule there, disrupting fortune and cryptic defenses, and further punishing them for not rushing at Stugs. Command tank hold down here. Interesting choice. This certainly helps a bit versus the infantry. But does nothing versus all of the tanks. Pack 40 here up for Cryptic. Again, he's the one going and paying for all the Pack 40s. Frost is the one who's just floating a ton of manpower. I definitely think he needs to pick up some of the slack then. Stop floating. And build some fuel catchers. Tag up. Get out some Stoogs, damn it. Get out some Stoogs. Storm get shots. Okay, bit rolling down here, and the fight just continues to lose a high pressure cook of a match. Panzer says again the KV8, Pack 40 as well there. Oh, that's a command tank and a Pack 40. Almost got the KV8 flame for a tank there. One more hit, one more hit, and that thing's gonna go down. Hit, I said, not miss. Uh, it gets away. It bloody well gets away. Laying down mines to cover against armored flanks. Telemine is still remaining. Got the KV-8 completely combust as the flamethrower fuel just ignites. Incinerating the crew in a second. Pack 40 being wiped here. Mortar that could do some damage with all the bunched up rations. Need to fall back with the mortar though. Command tank finding coming fire there though. Snipes Petrov and Yuri with a well placed high close around. North ET 54 prevents harassment of the northern fuel point. Pounds moving hit, pack 40 wrecked. 
Command tank snaps more consequence plants are doing their sweeping ways of rations with well placed and well disciplined fire. Ludwig, I said two second bursts, I have a 2.5 second burst. Pick it up, Ludwig, pick up the slack. You have to do this with Germany. How did you even know? I know, Ludwig, I know. Grenadiers was the option six there, Grenadiers getting bombarded here in the west, Grenadiers getting fourth of the map. Machine gun getting the maximum there. Command to then engage with the T-54 pack for supporting Pat led veterans. He too, he could actually get it here. Oh dear, Frost might be in for a bit of a rude surprise. And there you go, T-34 kaput. How is it going up there for the Frost? The artillery being prepared to further bombard the fascist lines. Frost still not taking up. Cryptic definitely not taking up. I mean, Fortune's got so much. I mean, not Frost, but Fortune's got so many resources. Well, he's got 1,200 manpower. 247. I know with all these sort of slight low population costs, it's a bit tricky now to manage everything because you know, you're suddenly getting more manpower than you actually used to. I can tell that from personal experience, but there's still a difference between, you know, floating five to 600 manpower and then, you know, floating 1200 manpower. And you could easily just afford to take up now. Go for some stools, crush his opponents for Germany. Well, at least go for some more Panzer than these because they're still going to be the best, you know, counter to all these conscripts. Now the incendiary artillery barrage down there from Findeed. More shocked was being shocked by the accurate artillery fire being laid down there and the commanding course promising pain, destruction and Germanization as well. Elephant, Elephant tanks were available there for cryptic. Fortune still refused to go for doctrine and he's also refusing to attack or do anything with that huge cash resource he's got which is rather astounding. Commanding there being flanked by the field gun needs to fall back. Engineers putting forwards. Hitting the northern field point again with him before two in the south here. Scrams going on. Shock was clearing out any Germans sneaking about. And then he's pushing forts there. Findeed's very close to the IS2. He just needs a man punch. And he's being splattered across the ground here by the command tank. The Befeel Spanzerwagen. Command tank moving about. Quick hit there. And you thought to bring down South Africa. Can't swing about here in the South. Asian 6, they're closing in veterans. We got a demo charge with the point here by the Maltese March trying to booby trap it. We got Fortune finally going for doctrine. It is Stormtrooper. Well, elite troops could have gone for it sooner. Could have had something more with the stormtroopers. Well, you have more stormtroopers out that way. Even have vast in the sun. You could just infiltrate from here and just hit the point. Demo charge went off, destroying the mortar. He was basically hoping someone to pick it up, and then once they tried to pick it up, he would then set it off. That's actually a sneaky way of using the new demo charges. Machine gun. Ah, oh! no unit wiped here. Looks like a demo charge or the attempt. No, it's a Howard's a direct hitting the unit there. Quite a lot of slight machine gun drop, but quickly picked up there by Cryptic's men. Yes, <laughs> were then almost wiped out by another follow-up shot there from the bloody Howitzer. Germans making slight progress here. Now that Fortune's slightly doing something. Is he taking up? No. He's still got plenty of resources. At this point, he'll just be pushing up. Stool tell he could be taking up for Panthers now. But there's just... A void of nothing happening there, where there should be, and at least some kind of armor happening there for Fortune. I mean, I fear Cryptic is going to try and play for the Elephant, which, you know, I mean, if both players are, I guess, playing for late game calling something, that's a terrible idea. That should be just unsound. Someone has to go for medium armor. So, you know, keep up, make pressure while the other one then goes for the big calling stuff. So, it feels like there's a bit of a lack of coordination here between Cryptic and Fortune. We we're both sort of aiming for such a strategy, haven't told the other one, and lastly, are basically leaving themselves already weakened when they're not exactly doing frightfully well due to an aggressive start there from the Russians. T-4460 rolling in, disrupting the pack 40 second heads from here and there, but uh, breathing between the uh, German anti tank positions and quickly escaping. Nice work there by Fortune. Got the ice out there for Vindeed. Rolling ahead. Catching one of these out in the open with a disc and the 122mm gun. 
Did you ever see the sun fuel again? Pioneer. So many mines there, by the way. Mine. God. <laughs> Waiting for the northern fuel behind again with the Gundies. I mean, compared to in the north, the frost just is barely mining. This indeed is practically schizophrenic. I was two flanking against the double pack 40s. Command chain, they're doing what he can. Almost done hauling down now. I see takes all hits from the pack 40s. And you need something there. I'm getting blasted by the command tank. Closing in the battery two. Complete chaos range. And here go the pioneers push back. Stormtroop standing about. Fortune. Still not taking. Cryptic certainly not taking either again. Definitely getting the impression he's playing for the uh, elephant. And the fortune is playing though for the tiger race. This is really a weak strategy. I mean, one of them really has to take for some medium armor to pressure the opponents with. And so far, neither seems to be doing it. So that's definitely, I think, a uh, grave strategical area if that's truly the case here. And even then, if they aren't, it's still pretty damn late. I mean, Fortune really needs to get to doing this. Looks like something's happening. He is finally taking out there. Only took him, like, a lot of time. Yeah, so I'm making slap progress again here with the Rashids, though. The Russians always keeping up intense pressure as the Germans almost got the Hessian 6 there with the pack 40s. More stormtroopers out here for Fortune, by the way. Can be by with two shock trooper squads. Machine gun wiped. There you go, you can build us a Palmer Court now. You could try and, I suppose, take up for tier 4 and push out a Panther, which honestly he's got the resources for doing now. Either way, he just needs to build something and get out some tanks soon. Again, the playing for the Tigre's plan is a not very recommendable plan there. In particular, since they're down to 87 victory points. Command tank hitting with 22, 19 kills for Deutschland. Almost right on the maximum crew there. Mortified continues to just rain down. Drops of death there upon Vindeed's forces' heads. But we got an incendiary to the barrage in there from Vindeed having had enough of that. And elephant out there for Cryptic. Schwer up, Panzerjäger, okay, Fexbereit. So we'll have to see how that works out for Cryptic. Fortune is soon able to call in the Tiger Race. I pray that he doesn't. I pray that he just gets out a support core heavy panther one begins posting out either Panthers or Panzer Falls or Stoops or something for heaven's sake. We lose challenge range on Maxim. Northern Fuel being scored here by Frost Conscripts. Who's it? He's a bit short name. <laughs> but clear working on making up for that infantry with an awful lot of tanks. And there you go, Fortune by Going Stubble's chins is going for a Tiger Race. This thing hits from the eyes too. Pack 40 is flying away there. Panzer is moving hit. Veteran the three. Panzer fast. Pack shots just bouncing off the eyes to frontal armor. Another bounce. Fourth bounce. Tiger is moving ahead. That bounced as well, but the pack 40 flying on the fifth shot, kind of penetrating it. Tiger second shot penetrated more pack hits. There you go, Tiger weak point. All of a sudden, the ace, uh, eyes too suddenly finding himself overwhelmed here by German fire. Another penetrating hit. The bounce was off, but there you go. Elephant lands a shot from the side, taking out the eyes too, cooking off the munitions with a high velocity 88 millimeter show. Tiger still falls back as it takes fire there from the Russians. And looks like the Russians were not anticipating a Tiger Race, despite, you know, at this point, should be obvious, Fortune has gone for elite troops. So a Tiger Race should not have been, you know, a complete surprise, but it seems like they were, in fact, utterly surprised. No real serious anti-tank weapons to stop the Tiger Race with, meaning Fortune might have a chance here to turn the tide and make intelligent and aggressive use of his Tiger Race here. Shock troops also wiped out there, but somehow managed to survive everything, pushing back the Shock troopers with bravado, mortar wiped out by any mortar fight, Tiger Race continues ahead here, four kills so far for Deutschland. Hartmann Richter, proving himself ever the stalwart champion of Germany in his Tiger tank, Little Ludwig. And you need to almost take not here, got more storms for pushing force there for Fortune, and the Gorse Deutschland, Tigris, or Elephant advancing here. 
Elephant Anger nerf, but not really getting anything to compensate, so its already rather limited niche role has been further made limited and even more niche. Esmond's going off the through there. Got Tifid for swarming the elephant here. Elephant strong here to keep up with all of this. T4 just keeps swarming, commanding with Kyber 5. Got the Tigers joining in here. Elephant so far with one kill. Some damage done, but it's getting absolutely hit there. By T4451. Six not there, possibly mine. Just continue to flank here. The elephant's rear. Pack 4 providing coming fire. Tigers is providing coming fire. Almost got the elephant nonetheless. I mean, I'm pretty sure in this engagement, the elephant did the least. Like, it's all the Pack 4, it's the command tanks and the Tigers. The elephant was effectively useless. So right here, it seems like Frost just lost four to three T thirty fours for the sake of one elephant tank destroy, and the elephant again was not particularly threatening them. So that was really just a favorable engagement for the Germans by far. Like there was no logical reason for them to just charge them in there without any support, but he did it nonetheless, and that might just brought the Germans further relief. Units being suppressed for the max. We got more maximum moving ahead there. So I guess obviously we're seeing to repairs here from Fortune. Well, only repairs because we've only got one pioneer. It's got cryptic quitting few uses pioneers. But then again, they might be sulking a bit. The elephant got destroyed so quickly and they didn't get to repair it. I'm not sure. They might be prioritizing his own command tank though. I think right now the elephant or oh, ace is uh, the uh, banner bearer here of victory for the German army. Any hope of victory, I think, pretty much lies on the yellow shoulders of the Tiger Ace as it bursts its way through this wasteland of socialism and craters. Gonna lose need to retreat. Oh, they're gonna get wiped here. They're gonna get wiped. Not something Fortune could have fought here when the Tiger Ace out. They're gonna lose wiped. Tiger Ace comes to the basket. Got the M6 firing away. Storm's just planning coming far as well. 17 kills for Deutschland. Can't shock from your head here. Undisturbed by the might of the ace and the Asian six just snapping away from a very very far distance Occasionally penetrating the frontal armor Waterloo fire there from uh, Frost Howard set eight kills so far veterans one halfway 22 It's most been down to cover the conscripts and they tried to grab the victory point in the center very good 87 points to the left here for the Germans Back here, healing reinforcements are going to go on there for Fortune and for Crypticus. Finally, going for some Panzer Gunners as well. If only they'd gone for some, I think, sooner, I think they could overall have had a more bigger impact and maybe a bit better map state than now. Well, then, of course, taking from each of armor and actually building it. Fortune. Air support in here for Cryptic. Air reconnaissance might help them spot out an optimal path of distraction for the Tiger race. Over here we got Gunnadis versus Conscripts pushing them back. Panzer Gunnadis Storm which we hit in front of the Tigers is getting closer already. Shock to versus Gunnadis. Smoke screen off here. Very good. I hope Cryptic isn't trying to play for another elephant right now. Same with these kind of victory points. Really should sure then he should be pushing for the medium tanks now. Your propaganda to defend the victory point. Nasty work there by Frost, but certainly very efficient. Tiger is good to go. Needs to get moving. Schnell got an HD file here from uh, Findita. Assist versus all these Tiger races and whatnot. Sent to the bad. There goes Shock to a stun being swept away here by Tactical Advance. Though it's pretty close here for the Shock to almost get wiped. But they do gain victory two there. A setting out there for Deutschland. Could deliver more death and destruction. Almost got the Asian 6 there. Actually missed it, but the AOE basically took a huge chunk out in there. Go, got the Asian 6 by 40 spawning against the A35. Should be able to get it here, particularly if there's a target weak point. No, there isn't. Almost got it there. Almost. Ah! Oh. A35 down. Tigrates down to half level. Still got a tank destroy here. Storms will push back by Maxim. Mortifying down the Maxim here. Up north, you can see Cryptic Ultimate progress there. Trying to start many with the Ger oh, Russians once more. Comes from the sending head fire from the command tank once more. Hold down. 27 kills close to it. T3. More T34s of Frost. And indeed, I think, is playing for another IS2. Troops are pressed up north here. 
Ah, oh, Pentagon is wiped by the machine gun shock troopers. Bad news for Cryptic. Great news for the Russians. Troops moving ahead of the Pentagon the storm troops and the Tigrates. Half the unit annihilated in the blink of a brutal eye. And there we go. Almost lost the other half of the squad. Constantly being pinned down by heavy MD-42 fire, unrelentingly streaming down from the road. Another T-34 there, and this time they're off indeed. Indeed is all joining into the uh, T-34 race here. Not just playing for the eyes too. Bang grenade line going off here against the mortar team and the troops nearby, and wipes the mortar crew there, depriving Frost of his one mortar. Two can push up for the center. We got the command tank firing down there, how to firing down, smoke screens down. Here, Stormtroopers, this conscripts up north, Germans can secure territory somehow. Tiger Grace providing covering fire for the Stormtroopers, 22 kills, conscripts repulsed with heavy losses. 28 points left for the Germans, 28! Tiger Grace advances again, T-54 coordinate sights. Twenty-five points left for the Germans. Almost got the T-54s. He almost got them. So close there, but both T-54s get away with a sliver of health. Twenty-two points left for the Germans and the Gorse Deutschland. He's getting glassy over the Tiger Race. Twenty-four kills. And engineers there. White casualties piling up there. Nineteen points left. Pioneers risking the fires to save the German front. Focusing down the AC, constantly but taking fire there from the command tank. 33 kills. 33 kills, almost resting feet there. Constant close being rubbed out here. And there you go, retreating. Ace falling back there. 30 kills for Deutschland. Finn Diedig trying to outflank here. Cryptics and Frost, or Fortune's positioning by the southern victory point. Very good work there. Works excellently. Up north, we got here Finn Deed T34 outmaneuvering there. So he's either handling two smaller battles, he's got one hell of an ambitious but underfunded uh, pincer maneuver going on. In this case, the Tiger Race to the rescue. Comes out and never getting pulverized. Veteran three pincers moving in as well. There, almost got the wipe, almost got the wipe. And annihilated a big loss of Finn Deed. Finn Deed's barely got anything left. He's down to Machine Gun Counter Squad and Shock Trooper Squad. God, him, him, Elf, indeed, has been shattered. He is combat inoperable, which could allow the Germans a chance here to wipe out the Russians. And they get stunned, they run from the Tiger Race. Concussive grenade goes off, forced to retreat. Ah, looks like they'll survive, but it's going to be close there until it comes. Propaganda fire on the pack 40, forcing retreat there. Offending the pioneers from repairing the Tiger Race. In the center, T-54 blows up. Stormtroopers defend the center victory point. Fanatically, command tank there. 34 kills. Pack 40 there trying to deal with the T-54. Command tank there. Going to turn around. Shoot. Bounces. More T-54s around there from Frost, who I think now all hope rests upon. And uh, delaying the Tiger is repairs as much as possible. Cryptic, though, by the should rush his pioneers down there to get it repaired and back in action. More punch going to do this cryptic. He's still playing for second elephant. He's not taking up. He's not going for any medium armor. Not stoops that could help his packs. That's the T-34s. Christ almighty. Still, 19 points left. Indeed, though he's trying his best to rebuild his forces, but it's not looking good. It is not looking encouraging. Fortune finally getting it. it's repaired again. We got artillery strikes and bombing strikes raining down the air support, filling the skies. There we go. Country trying to the command tank's line of fire. Storms from nearby ready to contest and grenade. And there you go. Second elephant. Command tank gaining veterinary three. If indeed super close to losing his remaining conscript squad. Tiger setting up. Machine gun caught out in the open there. One third of the unit down. Oh, he almost loses machine gun. Ah. Oh. Got him, he milled shock to in. Grenade off, smoke to protect him against, but they're still a line of fire for the Tigers to shoot, and there you go. 
Yuri obliterated. The Pushkin soon to follow. Command tank falling back. Good to fire there. And we got another ice to up for indeed. And what little he has left. And troops heading southwards there from Cryptic. Straight through the massive minefield. All of them goes off almost. <laughs> that looked quite impressive. Apparently Michael Bay had laid down that field. Or Michael Bayski, his grandfather. Mikhail Bayski with this. Mikhail Bayski. And there you go. MG42 <laughs> sets off the remaining two mines. Machine gun there white. Or mortar in fact. Going for the field gun there. Destroying it as well. Southern front seems to be opening up here to the German army. We're down to still 19 victory points. T-54 Chang 4, they're going to go for the T-54. They're going to, oh the T, T Tiger Ace, not the T-54, the Ace is going to try and take them out. But there you go, a lot of downtown, the Blitz keep going in, T-54s continue. Elephant, they're also nearby, Ace to support if need be. Supers need to go. Two Panzer squad about to get hit there by Tilly Fire. Almost losing the veteran. The three Panzer going to be at nine fortune. Nine. Scheiße. Wiped. Taken up with the howitzer. Almost fetching three. 18 kills. Tiger Ace with 52 kills. Panzer Faust in the T 34. Stormtroopers charging ahead here. What are they going to do against the howitzer though? They only got concussive grenades. They can wipe the crew, but that's about it. And we got Findeed here capitulating, going GG. His hopes has shattered as most of his forces, it seems. But Frost there apparently is determined to keep fighting. May even have had a few private words with Findeed with his fist, who knows. Constant chance to inform command tank, the ace there getting obliterated here, and to tank grenade off. Almost won the entire unit there. Ace with 53 kills. The Tiger Ace has proved to be a complete system shot there for the Russians who were clearly not anticipating it even remotely. And he's just been throwing shot waves through indeed and his forces. Mostly his forces though. And this indeed has an impressive sound here and possibly a sufficient amount of fats of the shot web. Sonic shockwaves of the bash just strikes through his, you know, belly fat, causing shockwaves in him that way. Maybe. But then you have to be, I think, pretty grotesquely obese while having an impressively large sound system. Anyways, figure on there being destroyed here by the Tigres. 58 kills for Deutschland. A true hero of Das Vaterland and the German peoples. More air recons in there from Cryptic. Got a T-54 going in. Ace being or ice IS2 being repaired. The ace is starting a bit repaired. So 60 kills now. 60. Becker healing reinforcement. And neither player refusing or other player refusing to build any kind of medium armor. Command tank there. Ace, by the way. 43 kills being repaired. Elephant, no kills, a bit of damage. Heading for the northern victory point hold here by the machine gun. And there you go, feeling bit of trouble there. Attack grounding here through the house. And storms from in there. Vets in the fee, by the way. T-54 from Barding How to their recruit. Veterans do one already though. Grenade. Clearly not having much of an impact on the howitzer. He's gonna need the ace to be able to destroy that. And there you go. Field gun cleared out. Let's go for the howitzer next here. I was too good to go. Actually found a moif of indeed. Frost not. Link gun telemount to catch a brush in armor. Elephant opening up in the howitzer there. That's definitely one way of doing it as well. Much safer in terms of range. But at least just needs a spot for it. Mine's going down there. Gunnelius taking losses. Telemine set off by the IS-2. And it's one to in the high explosive shell. Teeth of launching to the elephant. Panzerfaust. Oh dear. Trying to ram despite a damaged engine. That's not going to work out. And it blows up there. Attack on the southern victory point. Stormtroopers pushed back. Elf or Ace moving in there. 63 kills. 
Indeed, still battling, holding on. It's got the I, uh, HVD5 out there. This is the highest two. Comes there, closing off that. We got 67 kills. Command tank moving in. Kansk gets wiped. Ice two, the best. The ace command tank. Shots bouncing, but uh, Findeed is not risking it. Seems like the Germans, despite everything, despite a rough start, despite we're saying in some ways not the best strategy, managed to pull through it because, largely again, the Russians apparently just weren't anticipating attack against at all. Now you got machine gun right. Findeed is just down to two engineer squads, an SG5 and an Ice two. Findeed is getting brutalized. I assume we're shape for the ace there. He's the five supporting. Got a pack for their baits and C3 by the way, supporting the ace. No target weak point from Fortune. Air support, or artillery support called in from Vindeed. Lying the ice to the four back alongside the issue five. T4 going in for a flank against the elephant tank destroy again. Ace command tank with 48 kills up and up there. Betty two. Ah, oh, he's gonna ram it. He's gonna ram it. And oh, got the ram off. But the T thirty four went down. The elephant is barely operable now. T thirty should find me in how to once more cleared out. More to there being stolen by cryptic, but a bit too slow here. Command tank versus the T thirty four. Ace elephant here moving in. It's rotating five to five. Command tank as we're trying to escape the T thirty four. Hello and health. There goes shot bounces. Sharp bounces. Ice troops seeing repairs intensely. Another T-35 indeed. And the command tank goes down as T-35 accidentally says on my next to it. Destroying Cryptic's ace command tank. If only Cryptic had tech for some medium armor supports command tank or even just some stooks. That might have survived it. Uh, T-35 flying about it. Taking hits from the elephant and the pack 40. Elephant takes out the T-54. Tiger is almost done. There he goes. Going to get with the issue 5. He's going to get the Tiger race. Oh, missed. Elephant shooting through the fog here. Through the smoke. S-mines down. And there, guys. Two ting hits there. Betson's one. Crashes through the minefields. It doesn't care. Elephant shots. It doesn't care. It wants them dead. Indeed. Trying to regain lost honor. Perhaps charges for it. No matter the consequences. Propaganda fields is fortune or thrust is supporting from DT. Ace survives the counter the two, but the HD5 gets the ace. HD5 almost down into the elephant. And taking it from other things. Trying to take out the elephant. That's not gonna work. And there you go. Pack 40 on the side. Plus the HD5 to smithereens. Well in 62 versus 19. The Russians are going all in here. I, by looks of it, charging for s man feels stormtroopers pinned down. They don't care. Findeed doesn't care. It's the last desperate push with the distraction of the Tiger Ace. They see an opening. They see weakness. And perhaps they see the glint of the gulags somewhere in the computer screen reflections and thusly decide just to get in there and maybe try to look themselves look less bad. Who knows? Well, they got through the victory point. It's down to 13 points now for the Germans. We need to get back. We've got machine guns coming to the victory point here. Nothing coming to the northern point, but they're too occupied with the center in the south here. I think the Germans. Shock troopers just being poured up of indeed here. Shock troopers and frost now as well. The Russians are desperate. They can smell the stale whis uh, vodka breath of Stalin now. And the despair of the gulags. Can they pull through down to seven victory points? Six victory points. Can the Germans stabilize again? Four victory points. They can't. They can't. And it's G. G. Again from Findeed. And there you go. A glorious victory. A br bloody brutal battle there. It was close for the Germans. They lost. Then they turned around. Stabilized. But then they ultimately lost because, well... They never went for any bloody medium armor. They got too caught up in call-ins and never, you know, went for Stoogs, Panzerfors, any tried to Panther, anything like that. 
Combine that with a weak start because they were clearly anticipating a penal troop build. He's playing like against penal troopers. Got completely overrun by the conscripts. Forced them to heavy defensive and struggle to break through. At times, never quite coordinated efforts either. And the Russians just kept up the pressure. I mean, again, the Tigers really gave them huge relief. Though, again, the argument could have made had they just gone for medium armor, they could have probably also done something there. There's the Russians. Great use of the Tigers to a fortune. He's just, you know, he might have benefited from a few tanks here and there. These cryptic should not keep going for the elephant because it clearly here the elephant just isn't that good after the nerfs. It wasn't amazing before that, but now it's just lacking. So really, after the first one completely tanked, he probably should have pushed for medium arms and Panzer Force and for Stukes, and they done that. They might have stood a better chance. Also, earlier Panzer gonna these would have done them a lot of good as well versus these conscript builds. So there you go, a brutal slaughter for two versus two. Certainly something you rarely get to see here from the December balance preview match. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something from it. If you did want to subscribe to the friends, share it with everyone. If not, send a replay and some feedback in the comment section. And a big thanks to all my patron supporters, without which this episode would not have been possible. This is Imperial Insanity Off, and see you all tomorrow for another exciting episode. Bye.